Wow, McDonald's wow. sure knows how to deliver. Fries, burgers, and they're not even soaked. Just don't forget to breathe in between mouthfuls. Let's take a break. Uh-oh, I think you're in trouble. Ouch! Burgers? You know this is a pizza family. You two are gonna get a time out. I'd get comfy if I were the two of you. You're gonna be here for a while. Oh, calm down. Crying won't solve anything. After all, why get upset when you can get crafting? Take these wood pallets and connect them. Uh -huh. Wow, we're already on a roll here. Uh -huh. Now take a broomstick. Make that stick. Stack them up, add some paint, and cover it up on top. Wow, you made your own little burger stand. But I think you're gonna need a logo. Perfect. Welcome to Wickdonald's, everybody. What a tangled mess we weave with LED strip lights. Shape it up into something yummy. Hold on, I think it's upside down. Wow, french fries in a bright red packet. It's so cool, it's going right on front. Next up, Let's blow up some balloons. Uh -huh. Stack them all together like a great big bucket. Stick some long yellow balloons inside. Of course, even inflatable fries need a logo. Almost ready for business, but we can't forget the uniforms. Hold on, I think she's got an idea. Ooh, I wonder what she's making. A speaker? Oh, I get it. The stand's getting a drive through. Uh huh. Just stick it around the corner. News travels fast. It's your first customer. Will you be using our mobile app? No? Hey. Uh -huh. You want a soda, burger, and ice cream cone. Would you like fries with that? Uh -huh. No? Well, just asking. Get the soda ready. Uh-oh. Is it stuck? The scissors won't cut it. Seriously. Hold on. What this place needs is a drink dispenser. Add the best flavors and shake it into shape. Of course, the soda uh -huh. won't supply itself. I wonder if they'll offer free refills. Of course, soda just tastes better with a lid and straw. Next, let's make a burger. She ordered extra ketchup. Uh-oh. Well, that's what the apron's for. So we can afford to spread a little love. And when I say love, I mean mustard. <laughs> hey, hey girls, calm down. Save some for the sandwiches. Don't forget, this is meant to be fast food. Maybe an appetizer will calm her down. We bought some time. Now back to the burger basics. Let's start by changing those uniforms. Okay then. Oh, your cap. Hmm. How about if we cut it up? 
and you've got a nifty new visor. Now for some ketchup and mustard. Plus some veggies and a juicy patty. It's frozen. Looks like we'll need to cook it up. Grab some charcoal. We're making a barbecue. Of course, grills are supposed to look metallic. Uh -huh. Now it's time to heat things up. Don't overcook it. She did an order well done. Add cheese, a bun, and into the box it goes. Uh -huh. We're almost done. Last but not least is the ice cream mm. cone. It's oh. not exactly soft serve, is it? Uh, that scoop is on the house. Well, it's on you. Quick, let's stash it in an empty chip can. Now let's shake things up with an electric battery. We'll have some frosty fun with our new snowman friend. Especially when he whips up ice cream cones for you. Now the ice cream's all soft and swirly. We've completed the order. Sorry for the wait. Now it's time for your monetary reward. Just don't forget, you need to give change. Don't worry, that's what calculators are for. It's the backbone of our new register. Don't forget some space to store the cash. Just run the numbers and it does the work for you. Put the money inside and give her the change. Meh. It looks mm -hmm. so good, but how does it taste? Guess it's a bit crunchier than expected. Just hope the health inspector isn't around to see this or that. Oops. Lose a nail? Aww. You think things look bad now. Wait until you see the online reviews. We need a good gimmick to save face. Like a giant burger. Aww. Think you two will be up for the challenge? I'm not even going to question where we got those giant patties from. Here, everyone, calm down and have a bite. Though personally, I'm more of a nuggets guy. Hey, guys, you still have to pay for that. Sweet restitution! Ha! We're in the money! Wow, you've got a great little place here. And you've made quite a nice profit, too. So, can uh, I place an order? Where are we on the nugget situation? Uh, wow, Dolly here's got some great shoes. And they're even better with pink sauce. Chef Dolly can even help you stir. Add some cheese and voila, bon appetit. A spoon and chopsticks. What can't she do? Wow, so that's where candy hearts come from. But if hearts aren't really your style, add some heat and melt them up. Now we can whip them into shape. No bones about it. Let it cool. And it's a skeleton. Some assembly required. 
I hope he tastes as good as he dances. Soda break. Huh, you're thirsty too? Well, you do look parched. I know. Add the bottle to a paper cup. Ooh, a mosquito! The original vampire! But this one works in reverse. It gives out drinks. Now you can share your drink. Careful, this stuff goes right through him. Well, angsty poetry won't write itself. Is untight. Ooh, is that gelatin? Oh, and it's still fresh. Let's collect some with a food injector. And squeeze it out into some nanotape. Oh, it's getting nice and round. Let's give it a little face while we're at it. Now don't squeeze too hard. Or is that the idea? This skull's seen better days. We need a fidget break. Let's combine business and pleasure and use this toy to spruce up our skull. Perfect thing to make some eyeballs. A little small, but we'll do for now. While we're at it, why not a whole new face? Pucker up. Now for the hair. I know a horseman who'll just love you. Wake up! The spiders got loose again! Wait, that's no cobweb. It's cotton candy! Add some inside this bell. Add glitter. And more cotton candy. Take it out. Oh, it's a cute little ghost. But now it's melting, melting, oh! Ooh, blue soda. Have a sip. Mmm, apples. But she's not going to eat it. It's going to be the perfect teeth mold. Mm -hmm. Fill it up with melted candy sticks. Let it dry and peel off your new teeth. Just the right size for our little round friend here. Pretty candles. But look at that wax. Wait, that's no wax. Ew. It's dough. Looks like it's baking time. Twist it up and add some heat. for some snake-shaped bread. Slide it down into some sauce and enjoy. Time for milk and cookies. Oh no! Why must the delicious <laughs> die young? Hmm. Wait, maybe we can fix it. Add jelly. And some marshmallows in a row. Now it's a sandwich cookie. Just one with a little more bite. I got a little something. Oh no! Our chocolate! It'd be a shame to let it go to waste. Draw any shape you like over ice. A Choco Spider! But it's too cute to eat. 
This'll really liven up the room. No, don't bite your nails. Here's an idea. Pour a milkshake into some plastic glove fingers. Lop a bone, or stick, or whatever, inside. Freeze it up, and you've got a new ice cream treat. And look at that manicure! Finally, a milkshake you can eat. Time for a mirror check. Now that's a breakout. <laughs> it's okay. Just melt that candy. Add some special ingredients. But this is no ordinary cover-up. When it cools, it's a candy treat. Just needs a little whipped cream. Maybe a little more spider. <laughs> wow, this girl sure is living la vie en rose. In other words, she likes to think pink. Strawberry meringue. <laughs> that sure can cook. This girl prefers the bright side of the dark side. Like a whole lot of dark chocolate. With a cute little pug right on top. And don't forget the nuts. Make like a dog and dig in. Well, to each their own, I guess. Order anything? Well, she could eat a chocolate burger. With chocolate fries. And a cute chocolate sauce rosette. Even dipping sauce can be fancy. And more importantly, oh so delicious. Now let's try that chocolate burger. Don't forget, you can even eat the french fry holder. Our pink friend looks jealous. I can see why. Maybe we can help liven it up with a secret ingredient. Pink lemonade. Give that egg a good soak. Keep on stirring. Wow, it's like an Easter egg. Now to give new meaning to the egg sandwich. It's cute, pink, and perfectly bite-sized. So take a bite, why don't you? Mm, it's good to the last yolk. For our next food challenge, we've got black noodles. Why are they so hard to open up? Well, at least we got it out. Now, put on a plate and add some cheese. Now grab your chopsticks and get slurping. Okay, Pinky, it's your turn. This pasta looks, well, adequate. But we can do better than that. Let's start with some juicy dragon fruit. But we can't waste good pasta. So take the fruit and mash it up. Now add a scoop of Greek yogurt. Blend into a nice creamy sauce. Ooh, I think it's almost ready. 
Now drizzle it over those noodles. Spread it all over. And don't forget a little garnish. And it tastes great. Next up, Pinky has a jelly hand. Though I think it's more her style. But she's not done. She must like it. She put a <laughs> ring on it. And you need nails to get a manicure. Speaking of which, it could use a file. Mm, nothing beats a good lady finger. Except maybe a chocolate ring. Now it's time for a hands-on approach. And here, there's enough to share. Guess she's a pinky picky eater. Besides, she's cooking something else up. A little jelly spider is the secret ingredient. Press the button for instant face mask. Peel it off and try it on for size. It's just what your pores needed. See? You can feel your new skin. Of course, this is still a food challenge. Bon appetit. One of these colas is not like the others. Because it's chocolate. And filled with candy. Why not try the direct approach? After all, you'll get to the candy a lot faster. Okay, no more Mrs. Nice Goth. Break it open like your very own piñata. It's Pinky's turn. She's got a pink box. Complete with pink chocolate pumps. You think we should try them on? Oh, it's that glass slipper all over again. And you got candy on your hands. And it tastes delicious. Have a bite. Watch them go from heels to flats. Now let's try out a little experiment. Fill them up with all sorts of candy. Now pour in your favorite soda. Add a straw and have a drink. Now why don't you have a bite? Just make sure it's dry first. Next up, popcorn. Plain popcorn. A little too plain. Okay, Pinky, it's time to batter up. Of course, it's always nice to share. Wait, something's inside the popcorn. It's an ear of pink corn. Just her style. Let's add some pink sauce too. And some multicolored sprinkles. What, does everything have to be pink? Then again, her face is about to be Ooh, a birthday melon. Aren't you going to blow it out? Look, it's full of black jelly. Why not have a slice? How about a quick candy dip? Okay, I'm sure we can do better than that. Coat it like cheese on a slice of pizza. Hmm. 
but you probably can't eat the crust. Ooh, an apple for Ms. Newton. Add a stick and dip in some black caramel. While we're at it, add some toppings. Oh, I just love abstract art. But now it's time for a bite. And another. And another. Ooh, I think she likes it. Looks like Pinky likes apples too. Slice it up and add to some dough. Roll it up into a nice floral shape. We're making an apple rosette bouquet. <laughs> now, why don't we add some cinnamon on top? After baking, they're ready for the big <laughs> taste test. Ooh, it certainly got appeal. Hey, Mario, you ready for your checkup? Let's look inside. Ooh, a mushroom. A banana and a burger. Hold the pickles. Now let's give you a few power-ups. Wow. Uh -huh. Looks like that mushroom's wearing off. What a cute little toilet. Perfect thing to mix up our chocolate. Careful, it's starting to leak. I'm gonna call the plumber. Eh, never mind. After all, it's just hmm. chocolate. No. Plenty where that came from. No. Vroom, vroom. Don't get jealous, just get crafty. All you need's a bottle, a stick, cool. and paint. Actually, uh -huh. we're going to quadruple all that. <laughs> wow. Now add two wheels on the sides. Uh -huh. hmm. It's a snail. Add a leash and take it for a walk. Who knew snails could be so fast? Uh -huh. Come on, big breaths. Uh -huh. Blow that bubble. Hmm. Okay, we need to rethink this. Ooh, a bubble helicopter. This has potential. Up, up, and away. And look at all those bubbles. Quick, try to catch it. You know, if you love something, let it go. It might just come back. Look, this little piggy's got a balloon. Let's help him blow it up. Let's go! Wow, this little piggy's got a need for speed. Our balloon <laughs> delivery service is going great. Uh -huh. Ooh, cherry! Wait, no! Oh, we lose more good lollipops this way. Well, at least it made a new friend. It's a slingshot. Let's take it for a spin. Hey, just be careful uh -huh. where you aim that thing. Good thing she's wearing glasses. Look, you can even throw them by hand. Ah, watermelon sure hit the spot. How'd that get in there? Eh, we needed some nanotape anyway. It's the perfect container for all our slime. You know, all you need are some seeds. And it's a watermelon slice. Can't eat it, but who cares? It's squishy. Watch out! Oh, poor little burger squishy. You know what'll perk you up? A makeover. 
complete with a nice new coat of paint. A few touches, and it's a frog. Aww. How about a kiss for luck? <laughs> so when does it turn into a prince? <laughs> what a great looking house. Yeah. Oh, the big one ain't too bad either. No. Now add some melted white chocolate. Let's try that again. This time, aim for the house. Cool. Can't forget sprinkles. It's like glitter, but for food. Okay, now, now you can take a bite. Ooh, I'd wash those hands if I were you. Nature provides. Take one egg mold, crack an egg inside, and add liquid soap. Close it up and give it a good shake. You've got egg-shaped soap. Get scrubbing. Probably should use some water, too. <laughs> ah, nice and clean. Wow, they really don't like paw prints around here. Congratulations, it's a Pokeball. Right this way, now take a seat. I choose you, Pikachu. Aw. <laughs> This kitty knows how to beat the Monday blues. Let's see a movie. Hey, come on, he did pay for the tickets. I've heard of cats and hats and puss and boots, but pants? Pants? <laughs> I gotta see this. Try not to sit down. Hey, it worked. I wonder if this works for snacks too. Duh, busted. And to think he stopped shaving for this? But maybe, instead of hiding food in your beard, you hide your food as your beard. Remember, it'll work better if it matches the hair on top. Ah, whipped cream. Looks like shaving cream, but far more delicious. <laughs> Try belting out some ho ho ho's for good measure. Of course, you just can't top sneaking in with a fall guy. Works every time. Maybe sharing with the bouncer will sweeten him up. Well, that wasn't very nice. Don't worry, cheese puffs. With a little elbow grease, you're a fetching new chain. It just needs a little something. Good idea, candy string. Just keep them safe under your cap. And give yourself some new highlights. Or better yet, give yourself a whole new do. <laughs> wow! Almost time to start clubbing. But first... Mm -hmm. It worked! Mm -hmm. Go right on in. <laughs> now for a little victory nibble. Spit it out. Guess you Ew. did bring enough for the whole class. We need to think outside the box for this one. Ooh, take a cupcake and crumble it up. For that perfect soil look, we'll need some worms. But to keep them edible, let's make them cola flavored. These straws really help give them a nice, wormy texture. Throw on some fake plants for good measure. It worked. Let's just hope this isn't botany class. Anyone in the mood for a 4th of July ice pop? Who says chocolate can't give you a six pack? And she didn't even do a single sit up. I think we've earned some confiscated candy. Uh, sort of. And we've got the perfect place to hide them. 
These new glutes go great with your abs. Time to pump iron and stay out of the sun. This case can do more than just hold ear pods. Pour on some melted chocolate and let it harden. Make like it's your birthday and start blowing. Talk about making a chocolate shake. Now we've got chocolate headphones. Guess our lollipop didn't pass inspection. Just as planned, the teacher's none the wiser. Hey, how'd you get in here? This isn't the place to have M&Ms on hand. Huh. Add the brown ones to a cage. Now add a pet inside. You know, it's kind of a good thing food's not allowed in here. Otherwise, that librarian would be tossing cookies right about now. It looks like you need a little more height to enter. And your little cola isn't too welcome either. It's time to start stepping. No, really, we're making platform shoes. That should take care of both your problems. Step right in. Careful, this guy's on the case. He's investigating from the ground up. Oh no! Just think of all that poor, wasted candy. Quick, sneak in while the guard's distracted. Well, that's one way to cut up a watermelon. Hurry, eat it all before anyone sees it. Here's an idea. Wear some big tape rolls like bracelets. Hide some candy underneath, as much as you can. Now cover it up with cotton, like a cast. And why stop at just the arm? If anyone asks, it's been a bad week for her. But things are about to get a lot sweeter. What a great performance! If she knew there's no candy in jail, she'd never have jaywalked. Luckily, someone brought her a toy car in a cake. Everyone's always getting their snacks delivered these days. Good thing we've got a cat on the outside, too. Now let's put those strong teeth to good use. And carve yourself a skeleton key. Good thing you filled up on candy. Don't worry, our friendly neighborhood janitor's here to help. And if you want something to wash it down with, don't worry, he's got you covered. Strange, it's not your birthday. Eh, let's open it anyway. Looks like we still need to cut the wrapper. Wow, they really go all out for the gender reveal parties. And these silicone bellies sure are getting popular. Never pay those museum cafe prices again. Now, what's going on here? Told you shop was more fun than band class. Especially when you can hide all sorts of snacks. Just take one wafer, grind it up into shavings. Why don't you try a handful? Also works with coconut. Probably should get back to woodworking. Eh, who needs furniture when you've got chocolate mushrooms? She doesn't look too happy. Is gum really a food? After all, you don't really eat it. 
Of course, you don't normally wear it, either. But that's not going to stop her now, is it? Let's add some candy buttons. Get it? Wow, she really likes your perfume. Mm -hmm. We're in! Why not take a nibble? sneaky exceptional stuff. Catch you next time. Is there such a thing as too much candy? <laughs> nah. While you're here, don't miss our bonus episode at the end. Something tells me to open this box. Oh, it's all sticky. Wait a minute. The lock is chocolate. Oh, we can just eat it. Look at all these snacks. Let's just hope she didn't fill up on that lock. Vroom, vroom. We're making a candy delivery. Wow, and this machine grabs candy for you. Just fill it up, close the lid, and pick the candy you want. Want a bite? Good thing these aren't jawbreakers. It's so small, your pets could play with it. Hey, pick your own. A baby doll? Well, it's fun, but I was expecting candy. And there it is. Wow, a chocolate bath! Spas must charge extra for that. Of course, you can't forget the toppings. Oh good, we're not eating the baby. We've got marshmallows. Looks like we're not done dipping lollipops either. Ooh, a banana. Yeah, something healthy before we eat more candy. So cute, a wow. giant gummy bear. Ooh, he's one tough cookie. A gummy, eh, whatever. I think a little heat should soften him up. Nice and liquidy. Now take a stick or two and wrap it up. It's like a giant gummy drumstick. Wow, this robot holds your lollipop for you. But more importantly, it holds it for you when you want to put it down. Always enjoy candy with a friend. Or two. <laughs> Jelly bean soccer. Finally, we need more candy-themed sports. And it looks like we've already got our coach for the big game. Now, we can't start this game without jelly beans. Pour them in. We're ready for the big kickoff. Now, coach, come on, collect your prize. Ow. Oh, no. Quick, put that tooth in milk. Is this soccer or hockey? <gasps> A rose. Oh, how romantic. No, don't eat it. You just pair flowers with candy. Luckily, we already have plenty of candy, too. We just need to melt them down and mix it up. Told you you're supposed to pair flowers with candy. <gasps> Just remember, you're still not supposed to eat the rose. We need to do something about those not-so-pearly whites. There's something off about this toothpaste. Guess you don't exactly need the brush. Good thing, too. You can dig into all these different flavors. 
Wow, they just won't stop trying to reinvent the lollipop. Wow. Eh? Are you sure that's the part that goes in your mouth? You don't want to miss out on all that delicious syrup. And the toppings. <laughs> this girl loves her toppings. If this thing dispenses candy, you're always a winner. You need a match to win. But it's not like it asks for quarters or anything. We're gonna make it rain. Candy, that is. It still looks good. Just wipe off the hair. I know sushi's raw, but that fish looks a little too fresh. Can't forget our soy sauce and wasabi. Though they're probably a little sweeter than usual. Either that or she really likes things spicy. There's probably a market for candy sushi on conveyor belts. Ah, soda. A tried and true classic. Wait, uh, what are you doing? I get that she needed the bottle, but I could have used some soda. Wow, a nice chocolate cone. Let's add some nuts. Hey, do you want some ice cream with all that whipped cream? <laughs> of course, anything as delicious as whipped cream is plenty. All these treats, it's so hard to choose what's next. This one's a little hard to figure out. But at least it tastes all right. It's like it's coming out of its brain. Oh, so that's why they call it that. So much candy, so many delicious flavors. B -b -b Bonus episode. Time to strut your stuff. Not exactly making an entrance, is she? Quick, get out the cold cream. We're gonna need it. Better yet, duct tape. Hmm. The answer to all life's problems. It takes it off and helps her put it back on. Not like before, but at least it makes an impression. With these wings, she'll be a real social butterfly. <laughs> oh, this tinsel's giving her some ideas. With these clips, they're brand new highlights. As if all that purple hair wasn't already making a statement. Just like that, she's the new life of the party. Remind me to schedule her dentist appointment. Sweet stuff! Catch you next time. Ugh, <laughs> the people in this house need to wash their hands. What happened? Clean up on aisle 12. And 13. And 14. Oh, thank goodness. It's all just chocolate. So at least this mess smells nice. Oh, yummy! Gummy worms! Oh, hmm. is the brown part cola flavored? And speaking of soda, 
Mm, I just love green soda. And look at how quickly everything dissolves. Whoa, is that a solid slinky? Ooh. Isn't everything just gonna spill out? Oh, never mind. Now it's just one big gummy. Good thing it's so big. There should be enough for both of them to enjoy. Oh, I guess not. Well, we could just make another. And this time with orange soda. Which is both the color and the flavor. Just keep stirring and... Oh, hold on. Well, the best things in life come on a stick after all. Oh, now she wants to share. Shouldn't they be wearing cat ears? Hmm. I like lollipops as much as anyone, but you've seen where it's been, right? Oh, it's just filled with even more delicious candy. Don't you think more things should come with candy? Oh, someone wants something. Hmm, looks like a cookie and chocolate pudding. Well, let's hope for her sake, appearances aren't deceiving. Ugh. Well, it passes the taste test. What's next? Oh, look, now she's eating the toilet seat. And now for the rest of the toilet. Probably shouldn't have eaten all that chocolate Ooh. beforehand. Let this be a lesson. Be careful when eating toilets. <laughs> ah, ramen. The best thing that's happened to soup since chicken met noodle. And she didn't even need to add water or anything. Someone sure likes ramen. This girl must really be into those mukbang videos. Okay, now she's just showing off with those drumsticks. Quick, take the bowl while she's down. Wow. Mmm, pizza. Go ahead and add your favorite toppings, but it can backfire. And an emphasis on the fire. Luckily, ice cream soothes all of life's pains. And it can also come with all sorts of toppings. Great idea. Let's combine both ideas. Pizza, but with sweet foods. And sweet toppings. Who needs cheese when you can use chocolate shavings? Not to mention strawberry sauce. Yeah, why eat Ooh. candy when you can just add it to a candy pizza and then eat it? Remember, guys, if you eat this much candy, probably a good idea to brush your teeth afterwards. It's always best to eat fruit. Just make sure it's actually fruit beforehand. The scented kind is just trouble. Just like those markers, which you shouldn't eat either. Well, at least you get a prize inside. Another reason not to chow down. <laughs> and there's something special inside this watermelon, too. See? It's not just cereal boxes that have surprises. Let's hope whatever's inside is something we can eat. Well, it's a balloon. Any food inside? Not even close. Should we cut this thing open or just order a pizza? <laughs> wow, that's a lot of food. I'd almost say it was too much, if such a thing were possible. <laughs> Another thing that's great with toppings, cake. Uh, looks like you've got all the great food groups. Meat, vegetables, chips, candy. And when you run out of room, just stick things to the sides. Probably remove that lollipop stick before eating. And the candy. You can break a tooth, you know. Ah, the final touch. Whipped cream. And whatever that red stuff is. Don't forget the cherry. No. 
I guess we're not gonna cut the cake. After all, why mess up perfectly clean knives? Mmm, look at all that jelly. Is it liquid? A solid? A marvel of science? And deliciousness? Oh, just look at that jiggle. Almost too beautiful to eat. Doesn't this remind you of that popsicle toy? Hey, how'd that phone get inside? It's taking a while, but on the plus side, at least we get to try out all these gadgets. That's it, this is taking too long. Put your hands in it and get that phone. And it's a fake. The jelly might be good though. A big mess, but probably <laughs> edible. Maybe we'll have more luck with the other jelly. Oh look, a candy bar. Please don't tell me that candy bar's another fake too. Money? Hey, I wanted candy. Wait, we can use money to buy candy. A lot of candy! Oh. Whatever we're making, things are starting to look pretty sus. <laughs> At least she seems happy with her circle. Looks like we're making pancakes. Come on, just pretend you're writing the letter O, or a very short zero. Yeah! Should have listened to SpongeBob. Draw ahead first and erase the details. She seems to be doing better. Of course, she's got to be artsy with that hair. Sure, there's a hole in the outline, but if I were an art teacher, I'd give her a B. Okay, B minus. Of course, the <laughs> real test should be in the taste. Too bad she's eating sour grapes. B -b -b bonus. This must be one of those chickens the Easter Bunny hires as a freelancer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fun when Easter eggs come with a prize, but seriously, bring out the chocolate. Let's just hook it up to the machine. Should be nice and safe, which isn't easy for eggs. So far, this all seems like a very delicate procedure. Maybe a little too delicate. Anyone else want to just open the bag and eat the chocolate as is? Oh, does it need to spend time in the fridge? Let's hope that duck brought a blanket. Oh look, there's some leftovers. In lieu of a spoon, I get to lick that cover thingy. Cool. We've got a basket worth of these <laughs> chocolate eggs. Let's see what's in this one. Only one? Oh. Well, at least it fits. That was definitely yummy-rific. Yeah, I made up that word. Catch you next time. Time once again for a friendly toy exchange. Hey, I said friendly. Spray-on cheese. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't exactly call that a toy. Wow, did you know it could do that? Hey, what's with that look in her eyes? You know, you should probably ask before you put your mouth on something. What's this now? An egg opener? I never would have guessed eggs were so hard to break. Eh, don't worry, folks. That chick is just here to watch the show. Well, it said it would open them, and it opened them. You know, if the chick seems to like it, who am I to question it? Watermelon is healthy and delicious, but doesn't make a mess. If only cutting it up didn't have to be such a chore. Hint, hint. Wow, a watermelon slicer cutter. Isn't that kind of the same thing? 
Either way, it slices or cuts as advertised. Really getting your money's worth. Aw, cute. It's already in bite-sized pieces. I can finally toss that melon ball in. I was kind of hoping she was paying attention during our little presentation. Eh, let's just be happy she's eating more produce. What's next? Oh, here's a device for strawberries. But what makes them so special? Let's see what else it can do. Aha, uh -huh, you can use it on a tomato too. Or a slice of pineapple. But why stop at food? Let's try it out on other things. Like this little toy ball. Ha, good idea. Just look at it come to pieces. So basically, it cuts anything soft and malleable. <laughs> That's good to know. Ah, uh, what a cute little frog. I think I will name him Kermit. And he's got a little pig friend too. How oddly appropriate. And together, they can suck up all those egg yolks. And look cute while doing it, I might add. Now, nothing can stop you from making meringue cookies. In other words, I want you to make some meringue cookies. If not for me, then for the pig. Aw, oh, give us a kiss. What more treasures does the magic pot hold? A lemon squeezer. Well, it fits right on the lemon. So far, so good. Wow, it turns the lemon into a spritz bottle. You can really perk up that salmon and side salad. Or just do that. And this is why lemon juice is rarely the main event. Oh no, she's already gone mad with power. Will it work? Well, if she doesn't mind holding that big melon, why not? A cucumber sharpener. Wow. These kitchen gadgets are getting really specific. Well, first things first, let's try it out. If you ever need to shave a cucumber, your prayers have been answered. I wonder if it works on pickles too. Okay, maybe we shouldn't let this girl stay in the kitchen unsupervised. What's next on the menu? Oh, how cute, it's a bunny. Ah, it's an egg mold. This should come in handy for Easter. Oh, look, a skull. Must be for Halloween. Or maybe she just likes skulls. Either way, let's see it in action. First, pour out the whites. How cute. The eye sockets are for the yolks. Let's steam it up. The bunny? Uh, we must have skipped a few scenes. Yeah, kind of defeats the purpose of a stencil not to stay in the lines. But to be fair, skulls aren't really supposed to have Ew. eyes anyway. Still, let's wish everyone a happy Groundhog Day. Or whatever this is for. What's up next? A finger knife. Huh, beats sharpening your nails. Technically, your thumb isn't a finger, but why split hairs? <gasps> yeah, be careful around sharp objects. Let's see it in action. Make sure to practice, and soon you'll work your way up to being Wolverine. Schnick, schnick. Yeah, I read that he's just a whiz in the kitchen. At least, when it comes to cutting. Of course, some people just don't have the patience to, well, use utensils. But they sometimes learn the hard way it's not such a bad idea. Beware? I know girls who say the same thing about their acrylics. Well, whatever this next device is for, it's certainly alliterative. I'll forget wordplay. Anything involving potatoes is A-OK -okay in my book. I mean, what other root vegetable can you make into chips and fries? Uh, aside from taro, that is. Shoot, it's a baby tornado potato. Kinda looks like spiral pasta. Try to see if you can stretch it out. Three, two, one. Ha, even better. You get two potato spirals for the price of one. What else can we try this on? Oh, wow, a spiral carrot. Isn't that just adorable? And look, it's actually kind of bouncy. Up next, the cucumber. Best known for turning into pickles. Wow, she managed to make it a spiral while keeping the skin on. It's that trick where you cut a banana with a toothpick all over again. And just like the carrot, it's a little bit stretchy too. Okay, I think she's starting to get mad with power. Maybe we should move on. Yeah, good idea. What's next? 
Look, an orange peeler. Guess we're back to those items with really specific uses. Normally, I wouldn't want anything that peels stuff on my finger, but that seems to be par for the course here. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, great success. The part of the peel comes clean off. In other words, it's time for Clementines to step up their game. See, wow. it even opens up like a flower. Such a beautiful, what the? I was wondering what happened to her. Well, I guess that's another way to open up your orange. Still, I think people want a sense of style with their fruit. It's time for our next item. What's this now? A slicer? You're telling me that's the best name their marketing team could come up with? I mean, it's short and simple. I'm not complaining, but still. Well, either way, at least it seems to be working. That's good. Wow, tomatoes, radishes, and does it even work on strawberries? Yes, it does! I guess a tool like this really speaks for itself. Cool, are we making kebabs, but bite-sized? Well, this looks kind of cute. Oh, it's another slicing device. Let's try it. Kind of looks like a comb, but don't put it in your hair. Put it in your onion. It's clever, but you kind of want a device that does the slicing for you. That said, she doesn't seem to mind. Actually, she seems to be getting a little too into all that slicing. Either this girl just got a catering job, or she's using up all our veggies. Oh well, at least we have another excuse to eat more vegetables. And when you're done slicing, the device adds a little bit of flair. Slice-tastic tools, right? Catch you next time. Someone's got a delivery. Let's see what it is. Ooh, it's a tiny burger. It's bite-sized. Did you have to pay a small order fee? Now that's a big burger. And talk about extra cheese. Hope you saved room for all this candy. Look, there's gummy bears, popcorn, even chocolate macaroons. Hey, what's in the tank? Ooh, soda. Gotta keep hydrated. Besides, you need something to wash down all these treats. These potties are smaller, but hey, there's three of them. Complete with a lollipop plunger. And it's great for dipping. So, why don't we try all three at once? Like a candy apple, without the apple. Of course, there's always the direct approach. Ooh, an ostrich egg. A big egg means a big breakfast. Or really, whenever you want eggs. Are you sure you don't want any utensils? Well, why pay for eggs when you can get the chicken? See, we've got an egg, so let's get cracking. Here's an idea. Soak up the yolk and the whites in separate injectors. <laughs> now you can make little fried eggs right on the pan. So small, they could be hummingbird eggs. But the important thing is the taste. For some soda lovers, two liters just isn't enough. She sure likes her sweets. Ironic, isn't it? Still, a small soda is better than nothing. Wait, 
Something's off about this soda. It's no drink, it's a gummy. And it's cola flavored too. Of course, she's not the only gummy fan. Just look at this giant gummy worm. Well, let's make like a giant early bird and start eating. From both ends. Careful, you're getting it everywhere. Well, we shouldn't waste it. Melt it. And pour it into a gummy worm mold. We can even make multicolored ones. But they're not doing you any good in there. Let's eat. We've got a garden's worth. Now that's a lot of lollipops. Let's remove the sticks. Add more candy. Pour on some soda. And get stirring. Soon, you'll have a giant lollipop. Not the usual shape, but it gets the job done. Think we can try it on a smaller scale? Well, place it in a bag. And start smashing. Okay, now that should be enough. Collect in a spoon. And melt away. Now you can make even tinier lollipops. All you need are some tiny, tiny sticks. <laughs> and look, there's one for each knuckle. Oh, Nutella chips. Sweet and salty. Some good things really do come in small packages. Can you beat that? Get Nutella. Always a good start. And make some triple decker sandwich cookies. But we're just getting started. Add syrup and candy. Now it's time to trim a little off the top. Nothing beats a snack with a little shake. It looks like a certain shark agrees. I think you're gonna need a new snack. Ooh, I think this snack's a little too fresh. Let's make a new one. Cut some soles out of a big biscuit. Cover them up with fondant and cut them into place. Now let's add some color. Add 10 little piggies on top. And here's a treat that won't get ticklish. Okay, who's up for making sand ducks? Wait a minute, there's a tiny duck inside. It could be our new model. We're making marshmallow ducks. Let's add a face. And some powdered sugar, a lot. They're just the thing for our special hot chocolate. You know what can be a lot of fun? Cat food! Especially if we whip it into shape. Ooh, looks like a takeout order. Talk about 15 minutes or less. Or would you prefer fast food? And there's enough to go around. Great shoes. Can we borrow them? In 
fact, it's got such a nice look. Maybe our cupcake should try it. Just don't forget the number one rule. Shoes always come in pairs. Mmm, nothing beats fresh bread. If only that were fresh bread. Well, if it lasted this long, let's help it last forever. Now add some wires inside. Dim all the lights and turn on the bread. What's for lunch? Wait, does that say stuffed animal? Well, at least it's microwave safe. This is not your average bear. Let's see what makes him tick. Wow, an egg! Let's get cracking. Why don't we collect the yolk? Make some shapes. Fry them up. And then add the rest of the eggs. Give it time to fry up. Add a sausage and roll it up. Now enjoy your new breakfast wrap. Next up, fun with hair care. But not that hair. Oops. Take a hot dog and add some dried pasta on top. Now give it some eyes, a mouth, and our special secret ingredient, love. Now cook it up in boiling water. All that hair should be nice and soft. And, more importantly, ready to braid. These dogs are looking good. But I think they could use a trim. Mmm, toast. Oh, I hope you Ew. like it well done. Yuck. Let's try again with a kitty cookie cutter. Now give it the full body treatment. With a candy six pack and marshmallow pecs. Nothing wrong with a little tanning session. Now add a face and a cute button nose. Add a bow on top, and it's Hello Kitty! It's time for a quick crunch. And enjoy your sandwich s'more. Ooh, hot chocolate! Eh, it needs a little something. Pour some melted chocolate into a mold. Swirl it around to get a nice shape. Pop it out. And fill with marshmallows. Make a few scratches on the side. And give it a familiar face. It's Grimace! Let's give him a nice hot cocoa bath. You know, for somebody named Grimace, he sure puts a smile on your face. Wow, this cake is just so pretty! It's gonna be our new phone case! Now let's add something on top. Melt some gummy candies into shape. Before it hardens, add a stick. Now pop it out. You can squeeze it and lick it, but don't forget the wrapper. So good you'll eat the whole can. Told ya! 
Take some dough, add food coloring, and roll it up. Once it's green, flatten it up. Make some holes to give it a face. Let's whip up a whole batch. Now add to some oil and fry it up. And they taste great with milk. Just eat it before it's mush. That's the Ursa Major of Gummy Bears! Let's look inside. Wow, it's a whole bunch of gummy bears. Let's line them up on wax paper. And turn on the heat. Once it melts, why don't we add some noodles? Fold it up into place. And maybe add some sugar. Now give it a good stretch. Poor Jay! He's melting! Oh, what a world! It's okay. We can make more treats. Let's stay on the theme with a letter mold. And start by giving it a face. Now pour on some liquid gelatin. Let it congeal and pop it out. Now let's give it a good lick. Nice bowl, but it's not for fish. It's for melting cotton candy. How else can we see what's inside? Ooh, that makes two vowels. But cotton candy can do much more. In fact, we can use it to make letters. Complete with a face on top. But when it comes to these letters, I don't think we need an eraser. now. Don't wake Granny! Ooh, what does this button do? Oh no! Her hard candies! Looks like we woke the other one, too! In Granny's day, they didn't have fancy board games. Look, she'll show you how to make your own fun. It's the Opila bird, in cardboard form. And it looks like it's feeding time. <laughs> Just leave some candy for the rest of us. Wow. Chopsticks? Oh, glow stick chopsticks! Enjoy your favorite noodles. Or just go to a nice dance party. Either way, seems like a great time. Of course, Grandma prefers to eat with a friend. 
This doll may be dressed for the occasion. But she's not just the guest of honor. No, she's going to be our new utensils. Make like ballet class and do a little twist. Mmm. Still, could use a little more salt. Wow, now that's what I call a gummy worm. Ladies, please, there's plenty to go around. In fact, why don't we slice it all up? Now they're gummy buttons. Just the thing to sink your teeth into. But Nana's got her own recipe. To make a whole colony of worms. Crunch up some cookies for a little dirt pudding. Now it's time to start cleaning your plate. Mmm, tomato juice. But you should really aim for the cup. Maybe this drink dispenser should help. Just pour and it goes right into the cups. Ooh, this would be great for guests. But if you don't have this cool tool, don't worry. Just poke holes in a paper cup. And add a juice or soda bottle inside. Oh, great idea. Add some straws. Twist the top and the fountain's running. Probably should keep some cups handy. Where do you get all these tiny glasses anyway? I've heard of lady fingers, but not like this. Wait a minute. Those are some sneaky sausages. And this will cut it up into bite-sized pieces. You think Grandma will want some? No, she's got her own idea. Add metal wires to the end of a baster. And run the hot dog through. Wow, they're like French fried frankfurters. Try saying that five times fast. Hmm? Don't worry, our <laughs> peanut butter machine isn't really scary. Unless, of course, you're a peanut. So, do you prefer chunky or smooth? Who told you he wouldn't bite? Well, I meant to. Granny, on the other hand, is a different story. And what big teeth you have, Grandma! All the better to open this melted chocolate. Use it to draw anything you want over ice. Oh, a spider web! Just the thing for some spooky cupcakes. An egg mold? Well, let's get cracking. Now dunk in some boiling water. Good thing we've had some cooking. Just look at all the shapes you can make. But Nana has her own method. Take some foil and bend it into a shape. You can even separate the yolks. Ooh. I've got my eye on this egg. Talk about a seafood diet. Granny prefers food with a face. Uh-oh! Who knew there was such a thing as too much syrup? Try this dispenser. You can make a bunch of jelly flowers. Perfect thing for dipping cookies. 
when you run out of milk. Now it's Granny's turn. She's got her 3D pen. Yeah, this grandma's a real tech whiz. What's that she's drawing? Whoa, a skull! Starting to see where Wednesday here got her spookiness. Mm, rise! And it's great for dipping, too. What a cute pig. Let's feed it seeds. Must be a blowhole situation. Ooh, the swine shells the sunflower seeds. Now try saying hmm. that one five times fast. Ooh, messy. It's okay. All you need is a plastic bag. It's like a bib you hang on your ears. Chew on those seeds and spit them out. I wonder if this works with watermelon. Well, when life gives you lemons, you know the rest. Let's start squeezing. Have we collected enough juice? Wow. Yeah, she likes her lemon juice nice and tart. Grandma prefers to use the tops of old bottles. But either way, orange juice straight from the source. Extra pulp, just the way Nana likes it. Why don't you try? Well, I guess Grandma knows best. Well, would you look at that? Grandma laid an egg. Well, it sure beats paying those store prices. What? Oh, I think someone's at the door. Who is it? Well, whoever it was, they left their backpack. Let's take it inside. Meanwhile, we also gotta separate these eggs. Mm, gesundheit. Oh, it looks like Mr. Backpack can help. A yolk separator. Yes. Try it out. Just crack an egg on top. Now it's time to get things running. Pour out those yolks. We're making meringues. Mmm, corn. Time to sink your teeth in. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Well, it's okay. Make like a banana and peel that corn. I wonder what else it can peel. Give it a good squeeze. Oh no! Your glasses! And you can't see a thing without your glasses! When did that pigeon get in here? Oh wait, that's no bird. It's a gravy boat. But it's not just for gravy. Add that lemon. We've got juice. Now perk up that tea. Mmm, good to the last drop. Huh, maybe we should have started with donut holes. Or maybe we just need the right tool. Good thing we still got all this batter. Give it a push, and the donuts just plop out. Flip them over once they're golden brown. They're ready. Once it cools, take a bite. Of course, we can't forget about <laughs> topics. Especially sprinkles. This carrot needs some tenderizing. Or better yet, mashing. Add some inside. And squeeze until it comes out like Play-Doh. Try this on all your favorite veggies. 
But the real fun comes next. Getting to eat. <laughs> Careful, stay inside the bowl. <laughs> the bowl. Okay, that whisk isn't cutting it. Or whisking it. This sauce stirs great for a hands-off experience. Just make sure to keep an eye on it. Nah. Now you've got a date with some sauce. Meanwhile, let's catch up on some knitting. It's time to grate some cheese. Careful. Little more. Huh, barely made a dent in those hot dogs. Oh my god. Don't worry. We can always try a little hand guard. Now you can grate anything you want. Granted, not everything needs to be grated. Gummy worms should be eaten al dente. Mm, noodles! And we've got oodles! You know, it's even more fun to eat it. Uh -oh. What a tangled web she weaves. This looks like a job for our T-Rex chopsticks. It's a utensil that works on both ends. Great for those hard to reach bites. First Jack Horner in that pie, now this. If you're gonna stick your thumb in food, you're gonna need some help. It's slicing with a hands-on approach. And it'll let you tackle the whole produce aisle. Now everyone will want to peel potatoes. Who needs a green thumb when we've got orange? Aww. Just don't forget to eat the food when you're done. Wow, I never saw cookie dough leak before. It's not a hair dryer, it's a cookie press. Add whatever cookie cutter design you like. Just press. And pretty soon, we've got cookies. Look, it can be as easy as stamping. And I think we've got some left over too. Ah, bread and butter. So wow. simple, and yet so good. No wonder Madeline eats it every day. If only the butter could actually oh. spread. Luckily, butter lipstick runs smooth. Well, that'll wet your whistle. But let's save some for the toast. Get into every nook and cranny. Nah. Now let's try some English muffins. Ooh, and a bagel. <laughs> Time to drain the pasta. Oh, whoops. Oh, uh, so Ew. who wants pizza? Come on. Oh, wait. Hey. Maybe this pasta strainer can help. Just add to the side and pour. The pasta's safe and sound. And I've got a great sauce recipe. Ooh, Grandma's mastered the whisk. Just in time for her special cookie recipe. Of course, right now it's in more of a pancake stage. But that's nothing <laughs> our cookie stamp press can't fix. Wow. 
And look at all the different stamps! Now into the oven they go! Why not take a bite? Ah, cookies! So good, you can't stop at just one! Some food's mouth-watering. Onions, aim for the eyes. Wow, that's pungent! Good thing she's in the shower. Apparently, it's okay. Rubber Ducky's got your back. A new pair of glasses is all you needed. Wow! They'll protect your eyes from watering. So get shopping! It is tea time! Oh, that's too hot! Let's try something cool. Take this silicone mold and fill it up with tea bags. Now, if we want to make ice, we're going to need some water. Wow! Gotta love any excuse to use a funnel. Now stick it in the freezer and give it time. Okay, that should be enough time. Let's take these tea spheres out for a spin. Yay! No, not like that. Add it to the water for a brand new twist on iced tea. This'll go great with some green tea ice cream. Grandma marvelous stuff. Catch you next time. Nana also wants to make sure you're fed, too. Though this oatmeal could sure use some toppings. Mmm, banana slices are a good start. Also great for ice cream. Got any ice cream? Well, either way, this is perfect for a bite-sized treat. Of course, Grandma has her own way of doing it. Just twist up an old fork, and it slices just like that. Always nice to go for a stroll in the crisp fall air. Uh-oh, looks like someone needs to go on the go. Luckily, she came prepared. It's a tent. This should give her some privacy, but hurry. Let's hope she remembered TP and hand sanitizer. Grandma is fine with a sheet and some clothespins. Anna is nothing if not frugal. Huh, well, this could probably tide her over till lunch. Do you need antacid? Oh, never mind, it's just a melon. Let's slice it up. And we've got the perfect gadget. Grandma's really into those Bond movies. And just like Bond, she's got her own special gadgets. A blade, a pipe, and gravity does the work for you. Whatever happened to good to the last drop? Don't worry, your grandkid's here to help. Just slice up the fruit. Add to a juicer. And enjoy that freshly squeezed taste. Hey, aren't you gonna share with Grandma? Well, she's got a few Ooh. tricks up her sleeve. All you need is a syringe. Fill it up with strawberries and start pressing. Uh, sure you don't want a cup? Either of you? Our chef here is making dumplings. Wrap it up. Eh, just don't squeeze out the filling. 
Maybe we should just order a pizza? Oh, good idea. This dumpling maker should help. Doesn't push too hard, and they come out looking great. Grandma has her own secret dumpling trick. Fold it up and use a fork to give it texture. But her secret recipe for filling stays a secret. Oh no! A bug! And right on her skirt, too! It's okay, she came prepared. A bug catcher. Just press the button, and away it goes. Uh-oh, almost forgot some bugs can fly. Calm down, Nana's got a secret weapon. A matchbox. The perfect trap. Just slide that bugaboo inside. Mmm, sushi. Don't worry, she brought her own chopsticks. Though they're the kind made for beginners. Think training wheels, but for utensils. Besides, Grandma has her own tricks. Cloth napkins. Roll it up, and the chopsticks are attached at the hip. Of course, nothing beats just practicing. Rhinestones. They're not just for costume jewelry. They can give your face a little sparkle and shine. Just try not to immediately scratch it all off. Here's an idea. Cut a sponge into a shape. Add makeup, and it's a cute little stamp. Just don't go nuts or it'll look like chicken pox. Speaking of which, she should really get that itch checked out. Now, now, Nana knows best. You need your five a day. Meet her halfway. Eat your greens, but have fun. Add a cuke to this device and start carving. It's a spiral. Almost like eating pasta. And there's no shame in washing it down. But if you wanted spirals, all you had to do was ask. Make some cuts to an old soda can. Twist your cucumber on top. And you get spirals. With a nice hint of cola. Of course, cukes aren't just for eating. Spa day! Naughty puppy! We don't eat your kibble! Guess she'll have to get a new snack. This kebab maker should help. Add meat. Lots and lots of meat. Just the way she likes it. Grandma has other ideas. No wonder she drinks so much soda. Fill the bottle with meat. Add a stick and squeeze. Ah, looking good. Just don't forget to cook it up. Mmm. Now, pass the ketchup. Wow. <laughs> huh? Hungry again? Of course, there's always room for sushi. This should help. First, add the rice. Now, some sashimi, like this salmon. Maybe some greens, like avocado slices. Close it up and squeeze out on some seaweed. I don't think it was supposed to come out like that. Luckily, we've got a master chef in our corner. Just place the ingredients in an ice cube tray. Why not fill the whole tray? Add the rice last. Flip it over and voila! 
You've got sushi. So he said, but then she said, oh, wait, hold on. So when's your next dentist appointment? Hmm, maybe some whitening strips could help. Just place on top of your teeth. Give it some time and peel away. Already looking much better. Does Nana want to try it out? Nah, she's got her own trick. Activated charcoal. Just chew it like gum and rinse. Gotta have some tricks with all the tea she drinks. Maybe she's a natural. Or maybe she went to hair and makeup. Still, nothing wrong with trying a new look. Roll it around and let the bubbles do the work. On second thought, let's just call the salon. Better yet, I think the wig store takes coupons. Nana and her magic soda cans to the rescue. Just cut out a little square. Add hair inside. And blow dry those new curls into place. Wow! Amazing. Does she do highlights too? <laughs> Looks like someone got up from the wrong side of the bed. Maybe you should go back to bed. This gua sha tool should help with tension. Wow! Wait, how did it fix her hair? Anyway. Grandmas want to look their best, too. These spoons should help smooth things over. Ah, spoons. Helping you look your best. And they're great for soup. Grandma-azing stuff! Catch you next time. Oh, looks like Grandma's got a visitor. Wow, that's a lot of food. Wait, did you see any German brothers and sisters on the way here? Mm, maybe she's just a sweet old grandma. But seriously, either way, don't go near the oven. Time for Grandma vs. Gadgets showdowns. Stay tuned for the bonus episode, too. Separating the yolks from the whites. <laughs> Kind of makes you wish they were just sold separately. Oh! Looks like a cross between Birdo and Babe, but it sure does get the job done. It's almost clean off. Huh? I wouldn't think to pair eggs with something that looks wow. like a pig. Well, maybe with a side of bacon or ham or sausage. Nothing like a relaxing night watching a movie together. Uh-oh, they're out of popcorn. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Cue the next gadget. Just pour in the kernels and push the button. You can already hear everything popping. Just keep that cover on or the whole room's gonna get covered in popcorn. Oh, it's still spilling. Good idea. Add it to this giant bucket of... Oh, wait a minute. Eh, I guess you can never have too much popcorn. After all, you don't want to run out again. Mmm, potatoes. So delicious, but so hard to peel. Hmm, she had an idea. And I don't think it's just to make rice instead. It's a new gadget. You get a peeled potato and a really long potential french fry. But why stop at potatoes? Let's see what else this baby can peel. Remember, you peel it, you eat it. 
Aw, oh, some Ooh. fruit should be nice after all that junk food she gave you. <laughs> In other words, Granny's on a health kick, and we gotta be sneaky about our sweets. Let's just hope that this device can help us. <laughs> wow, it gives you a hollowed out banana. Still, let's not let all that good banana go to waste. But now for what we came for, using our banana's secret hiding place. Cue the Nutella. I've heard of chocolate-covered bananas before, <laughs> but not banana-covered chocolate. Come on, like you can really keep a secret from Granny? It's tea time. Some herbal tea can be a really good choice. Look at those leaves. Ew, a tea leaf. Oh, it looks like she's got something up her sleeves. A pink elephant? Oh, I see, it holds the leaves for you. So this way, all you get is just the nice smooth tea. comes in so many different flavors, from squirrel to manatee. Collect them all. Poor Nana, all those birthdays and no one's gotten her an electric mixer? Don't worry, you don't always need something electric to make things easier. Just watch, we can even mix the ingredients inside this giant bottle. Don't get any eggshells inside. And shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Really getting our money's worth out of these cookie cutters. Ooh. Mmm, there Grandma approved. Microwaves make cooking easier. But they're such a pain to clean. Hey! Angry Mama? Are you sure? We might need Angry Grandma or even Great Grandma level. Don't let anyone know that's not her real hair or she'll get really angry. Don't yeah. let the mess intimidate you. She looks like a fighter. What? Did you think she'd just do the whole thing for you? She just made it a little easier. Time for cake. It's no one's birthday, but <laughs> Grandma knows you don't need an excuse for cake. Don't worry, they even have a gadget to help you serve cake. Seriously, there's something for everything. Look at how tightly it hugs the piece of cake. And don't forget the best part. You get to lick the device at the end. I knew I should have called dibs. Time for another snack. Ooh. Some fresh, healthy cherries. Oh. oh no, a lost tooth. I knew we should have stuck to cake and ice cream. Either way, we've come prepared. A handy dandy cherry pitter. Oh. Granny seems impressed. Guess she has to watch out for her dentures. B -b -b Bonus episode. Uh -huh. When you can't decide between a ball pit or a pool, why not both? What a cute little whatever it is. What's she gonna do with it? Ooh, it's like a tiny little doorknob. But something tells me it won't be tiny for long. Told ya. 
But what are we gonna do with it? Throwing them on the wall? Kinda reminds me of that carnival game, except the balloons are the darts. Wait a minute. So that's how you make that toy from before. I was wondering how they were connected. And now you can make a whole team of them. Grandsational stuff. Catch you next time. Delicious lunch. Huh? Uh, what the? This burger is a lie! Well, at least it's squishy. And so is this donut. Personally, I prefer cheese pizza, but this is still fun. I'm starting to think that's not chocolate ice cream. Okay, let's separate the yolks. Hmm, Ew. looks like we're gonna need some special help. An egg separator. Just what we needed. Seriously. What you waiting for? Crack an egg! Now let's pour out the whites. Kinda runny, isn't it? Don't forget about all those yolks either. Hmm. Looks like Oops. you're a little runny too. You've started a trend. Who's ready to make banana pudding? Not too hard now. Then again, potassium's good for your skin. Next time, let's just use our little sheep friend. After all, he's a banana presser. Add the fruit. And it's all ready in a few shakes of a lamb's tail. Ooh, it kind of looks like string cheese. Either way, tell that sheep it's shaving time. Sorry, he doesn't eat breakfast. More for us. And it's the perfect chance to use our garlic mincer. Forget bite-sized. This goes right to the taste bud. Scoop it out. It's all good to the last drop. Nah. Oh no, he's back and he's still hungry. That's one way to get someone to cut your food for you. Oh, so many nuts. And here we are without a nutcracker. Or even a sugar plum fairy. Wait, I still think we should get one. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ceiling. It may not look like it, but it's our brand new nutcracker. Let's try it out. Push down, and it works! I'd say you've earned yourself a treat. Oh, first a vampire, now a g g g ghost! Quick! Someone needs to call Scooby-Doo! What? No, it's just our new gadget! An auto mixer! Swirl these colors around and around. Now this crepe is a work of art! Who wants salad? Let's start by cutting up this cucumber. Okay, we're gonna need some help. And here it is! Ooh, it's a quick slicer! My favorite speed! Add a veggie and the chips start flying. Looks good, but it isn't just for veggies. It's raining cats and dogs, but without the cats. 
Good morning. You could use a coffee. Well, good thing it's laundry day. Just add some water and powder in our tiny washing machine. Press the button, close the lid, and drain away. Well, this should help perk you up. Wow. And look, it even does laundry too. Just what exactly are you feeding our chickens? Guess it's time to get cracking. Or better yet, let's try out our new eggshell opener. We just need to take a little off the top. Look what's inside. Candy! A unicorn! Unicorn candy! Hey, careful! Don't forget about gravity! That s'more sure is fun, but I'd prefer something edible. But why choose? We've got a marshmallow melter. So let's make s'mores. Add a cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, and another cracker. Why not make two? Seal it in nice and tight, cause it's time to bring on the heat. Oh, just look at those marshmallows. Give it time to cool and enjoy. Oh wow, for a second I thought she needed a manicure. Hey, what's that? Ooh, a wiener slicer. Just add the wiener and twist it around. Keep going and soon you'll have a sausage with a spiral cut. Now they're the perfect thing for our breakfast smile. Oh, cheese on toast. So simple, Ew. so fragile. Wow. Maybe this sandwich cutter will help us. Add some cheese, shred it this time. Let's add some color. How about all of them? Now it's time to get cutting. I guess someone really doesn't like crusts. We're just getting started. Let's press it. And when life gives you cheese, grill it. Yay! No matter what color it is, cheese is always best gooey. <laughs> Hard boiled eggs are delicious, but peeling them is a different story. Unless, of course, you've got hey. an egg peeler. Which we do. Good for us. So convenient. Just give the egg a good shake. And look, the peel comes right off. Just like that, it's all ready for dinner. You're supposed to boil the eggs before you crack them, but not anymore. Yes. Take an egg and crack it into the mold. Look, there are shapes on the bottom. Yay. Yeah. Let's put those molds in a strainer. Add a lid on top. All that's left is to add some steam. Let it cook, and the eggs are practically hard boiled. Just without all those pesky shells to peel. Look at all those shapes. Look, it's a bunny! Something tells me we should follow these paw prints. Oh, buried treasure! We're gonna need a shovel, spoon, a shovel spoon. Let's dig. What do you think we're gonna find? Oh, look at all these different jewels. They're so colorful and shiny. Uh, this one looks different. Ooh, it's a golden coin. How much is it? 
It's like a wooden nickel, but without the splinters. Hot dog! Wow. It's a hot dog toaster! Wow! Told you that hot dog tree would pay for itself. Just plop those sausages inside. And look, it'll help toast the buns for you, too! <laughs> Mmm, nice and toasty. Just bring it together and add some ketchup. Or maybe mustard, relish, mm. cheese. Ooh, hot sauce. <laughs> Remember, aim for your mouth. Wait, the cooked eggs are for the other skit. Food panda stuff. Catch you next time.